wasting my time And I ain't got time to be taking my time I'm on my crime, better get in line See, I'm a cold kid, a victory on my mind Only way that you can go up is when you grow up you may fall Hey, what it do, YouTube? This your boy, TDA And um, I want to thank y'all for checking out the channel And you know what I'm saying? This is a part of the uh, artist uh, series where we gonna be uh, basically going through uh, how to create your own marketing material and how to format the files so you can upload them to the dis digital distribution websites such as iTunes, Amazon, you know what I'm saying, CD Baby. Wherever you gonna upload it at, you know what I'm saying, you gonna have to have it in a certain format in order for it to be accepted. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna have your, your artwork an awkward size and you don't want it to look all blurry or pixelated so basically y'all need to pay attention to what i'm about to show show y'all right now you know what i'm saying but a little bit about me man i've been doing gra graphics and websites for about 10 15 years now and uh i've done over i've done over a thousand different cd covers and and and, and graphics and banners and stuff for people's uh projects over the years, you know what I'm saying? So I got a little bit of leeway in this thing. Y'all can stand and learn a little something from me. But uh, let me show y'all a little bit of the things I've been doing though. Uh, let me show you uh, a couple of my designs, man. I got my homie named Ken, you know what I'm saying? He with the Resource Music Group out in Atlanta. I've been doing work for him for, for for some years now. And he has a digital distribution company where uh, the artists come to him. And you know what I'm saying? And he pretty much sets them up with all of the digital distribution websites like iTunes, Amazon, TuneCore. You know what I'm saying? He basically puts you on point. You know what I'm saying? And if your artwork ain't on point, you know what I'm saying? He'll let you know what you got to do to get it right. And then once you get it right, you know what I'm saying? Then you upload it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be having no fire music, but your artwork look weak. You know what I'm saying? You got to have it. If you, if you want to get attention, you know what I'm saying? You got to have the music. You got to have the image. And they both got to line up. You know what I'm saying? If one outweighs the other, you know what I'm saying? That could be knocking you from getting plays and clicks and opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that your image is on point. But let me show you a few things that I did right here. Like, this right here was an artist named 24K. You know what I'm saying? I did his um, his um, single cover. You know what I'm saying? We got the gold bars in the back. The stacks of money in the front. You know what I'm saying? The gold, 14 karat gold letters. You know? And then, we got this right here. This music award that I did right here. It's a milestone music award. And it's for an artist named So Walk. You know what I'm saying? And he got over 5,000 plus Apple Music streams, you know what I'm saying, for various songs over a three months release. You know what I'm saying? Courtesy of the Resource Music Group. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I did that album cover for him too. You know what I'm saying? So this this shows you proof that, you know what I'm saying, if your image on point, people going to click it, people going to listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you some more. That's just a graphic. It's another one right here. You know what I'm saying? This is one, you know what I'm saying, from the Hole in One and the Goodfellow crew. You know what I'm saying? It's a seven-digit blueprints, you know what I'm saying, cover. I redid this one because the guy, he had a cover before, but, you know what I'm saying, it was not at the right resolution. So, therefore, it had to be resized. But his image was so small that when you resize it, it becomes blurry. You know what I'm saying? And that's a problem that I know a lot of your artists might face, especially when you uh, have someone to create your CD cover and the, and, and the size of it is not matching up with the format that the digital distributors distributors require. You know what I'm saying? So this is one. See, this was the original one. This is how it looked before. You know what I'm saying? But then I took a look at it. I saw the elements. I seen exactly what it was trying to express. And then, boom, this is what I recreated. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot brighter, a lot more flashier. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you all how to do some graphics a little later on. But this tutorial right here, I'm just 
gonna be showing y'all how to have the right sizing. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah. This is the C D cover for So Wop, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This right here. Alright. So uh yeah, let me get up out of here. So uh let me let me show y'all a few more. And I'm just showing you this just to show you my experience as a graphic designer. You know what I'm saying? So just in case you starting out doing graphic designs and you know you don't want to go through years of school and you want to learn, you know, the shortcuts and you want to just learn what you need to know to get it to get it going. I'm pretty much the person that you need to subscribe to. So if you uh trying to do this for a living or you trying to make your own CD covers, y'all better hit that subscribe button right now because um I got a lot of things that I I could show y'all and teach y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is another cover right here. It's called All Out War. You know what I'm saying? This was put out by the Resource Music Group too. You know what I'm saying? But and, and the artist of, the, uh, of this CD cover was the Red Clay Warriors. You know, I did the background, the letters. I put the blood on the letters and all. You know what I'm saying? So it's on point. I don't play around with these graphics, man. But um, yeah, let me show you a few more. Uh. Let me show you something else. Uh, we got this folder right here. You know what I'm saying? This one right here. Let me show you the process. What? What? How I? How it go down? You know what I'm saying? Basically, how how this one went down. The artist wanted to use the Bugatti, so he had a picture of Drake getting out of a Bugatti. So he said, "Cut Drake out of the picture and put him in the picture." I was like, "All right." So. I basically chopped it up and I took this Bugatti too. You know what I'm saying? Chopped it up to Photoshop. Then I took the jewelry right here, which is these watches and the chain and the cross. You know what I'm saying? I added these as my elements. And I took this picture of the world globe. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, this is what I came up with. I ended up not using the Bugatti that Drake was in. You know what I'm saying? I ended up using that gold Bugatti because I feel like the gold make it look a little more uh expensive you know what i'm saying the master letters the gold letters you know what i'm saying so this is the cover i did for trade dollars you know what i'm saying uh it's called world go round you can go and check that out check that out it's on itunes you know what i'm saying by kmh ent and the resource music group you know what i'm saying they put that out you know so uh yeah check out the uh the uh details man like this is this the real deal man see them sky uh, the starlight in the background you got the highlights in the thing you know what i'm saying then we got the gold bracelet going across the bottom and the per parental event advisory sticker on the bottom this right here is the real deal man you know what i'm saying if you serious about getting your music played and, and getting it uh downloading and, and all that and getting attention for yourself this is what you need to do man don't be putting out no iphone pictures talking about this your album cover you know what i'm saying you you gotta really uh put some work into it you know what i'm saying you put all that work into your music you need to put the same amount of work into your graphics man like that's a big part of business marketing and promoting is the biggest part of your business if, if you ain't got your image on point what what make you think people gonna click on your your um song and listen to it if it looked like it was made on on a, on the iphone or something or android or something you know what i'm saying you gotta have that thing photoshop professionally but yeah uh let me let me let you see another one i did this one you know what i'm saying i got a surface pro like I know probably a lot of y'all ain't got no Surface Pro, but uh yeah, they expensive. But I got mine for 300 in the pawn shop, you know what I'm saying? So I got the Surface Pro and I basically sketched this picture out, you know what I'm saying? It came from this guy right here, you know what I'm saying? So I looked at him, I was like, yeah, I could sketch him out. So I sketched him out, put him on here. And basically what this is, is a scene of him being interrogated in an interrogation room. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? His name Fly Zay. You know what I'm saying? And the name of the song was Phone Tag. That's on iTunes also. 
So, um, yeah, let's get to the tutorial. I'm tired of talking, y'all. All right. So, here's the thing that you're going to have to uh, do before you uh, upload your music to iTunes. First things first. You got to make sure that your image is large enough. If your image is below iTunes standard, they are going to reject it and you're not going to be able to upload your image. And if you don't have the original image file and you and, and you cannot save it at a larger resolution, you scarred, bro. You got to just go ahead and get that thing redesigned again. And if you need to get your cover redesigned, you go ahead and message me. That's why I told y'all to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm your inside plug for the graphic designs now. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and subscribe. If you got any questions, message me. You want to know how much it costs for me to do uh, your album cover, just let me know and we can get it popping like that. You know what I'm saying? So back to the what I was talking about. But yeah, this is how I go down, man. Like when you um when you about to upload your stuff to all these different websites, you know what I'm saying? All of them got like a standard size that you need to uh know about. You know what I'm saying? And now, as of today, the maximum size is 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. You know what I'm saying? So, 3,000 is the width, 3,000 is the height. So, anytime you got the same width and height, that makes a square. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to get all technical with y'all, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, I'm about to open up Photoshop right now. I'm cracking it open right quick. Let that thing open up. Boom. There you go. So once you get into your image, the image program, whatever you use to edit your photos, it'll be Photoshop, Illustrator, GIMP, whatever it is you use, you're going to be basically doing the same thing that I'm doing in Photoshop. So when, you, when, you, when your first screen come up, you're going to create a new file. You know what I'm saying? So once you get in this new file window, you're going to see uh, where... You, where it say width and height right there, bomb and bomb. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that your width and your height is at 3,000 pixels. You know what I'm saying? That is the standard maximum size in which you can save your uh, CD artwork for digital upload. You know what I'm saying? So make sure it's 3,000 by 3,000 pixels and you should be good. So once you save it as 3,000 pixels, or once you set it up as 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, you know what I'm saying? You're going to click OK, and then, boom, it's going to give you the platform or the artboard that you're going to need to work on. See, and your artwork needs to be contained inside of this. And when you save it out, make sure that you save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Don't try to save it as no other type of file because they ain't going to accept that. You know what I'm saying? Just JPEG and PN PNG. Those are the only two formats that the digital distributors, I mean distributors, uh, accept. You know what I'm saying? So that's everything in a nutshell. How you save your file for iTunes? It got to be 3,000 by 3,000. Simple. Same applies to SoundCloud. Same applies to Amazon Music. Same applies to any other um, website that sells music and they have artwork to go along with it it got to be three thousand by three thousand and it's just that simple so um yeah that's how it is man and if y'all got any questions about um saving your file or whatnot and uh just let me know you know if you need a uh, graphic designer just go ahead and hit me up you know leave a message right there subscribe and every time I, if you, if you subscribe, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be dropping these videos, you know what I'm saying, like a hotcake. I might drop two or three videos a week, you know what I'm saying, or if I'm really feeling my vibe or I'm feeling myself or I'm in the mood, I could drop about four or five a day. But uh, I don't know what it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying, it depends on the response of y'all. But if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You know, I got some more things about to drop, you know, but, um, yeah, I'm out of here, man. Boy, it's time for you to get lit up. Time for you to get bigger. Time for you to get set up. Time for you to get better. Time for you to go head up. Tell me what are you scared of? Tell me why would you let up? If you 
I fed up with your situation, yeah. I ain't got time to be wasting my time. And I ain't got time to be taking my time. I'm on my crime, better get in line. See, I'ma go get a victory on my mind. I ain't got time to be wasting my time. Want me to work, but you don't want to pay. Ain't paying no overtime, but you want me to stay.